All right. So, good afternoon, IHSA football family. It's time now for the recustard. Recustard. Recuster versus Lyle um, coaching points, whatever. Uh, bringing it back. Haven't, it hasn't been back since two years now. But it's going to be really quick. And uh, it's really smooth, too. It's just some simple things. And I think the big, the major thing, too, is with Free Custer, when you're going against a wing team like Lyle, again, the big thing for that team, wrap up and tackle. It is the stupidest, one of the most stupidest things that you could say. It's And I admit it. But with this offense, you got to wrap up and you have to make sure you get the tackle. It is one of the highly logical things. It's one of the biggest things that people are like, oh, well, we, we knew that. It is one of the toughest things, too, for teams. Um, especially the way tackling is taught now. It is tough, and that's why you got to secure that tackle, and it's going to be very important for this recuster defense against that Lyle offense. Now, we talk about recuster on offense in the Lyle defense. Basically, for the Lyle defense, for my Personal belief for that Lyle, uh, that Lyle defense is they can't give up the tr the tricks. They have to put pressure on the quarterback of Reed Custer. He is going to be the center of attention. Also, with that being said, also <coughs> sorry about that. The running back is going to be the center of attention also for Lyle and. He is unbelievable. He is on a great streak these first two games. He's been special on special teams. Um, if I'm kicking, if I'm kicking, I'm Lyle. I'm trying to kick away from him. <laughs> That's my personal feeling. The kid is an absolute stud, a star, an absolute star when I say that. We need, uh, I think, again, he's one of the best players in the ICE Conference, um, in the Illinois Central A Conference. I think he's one of the best players. Now, we get on to back to the Lyle offense. Me, those Reed Custer defensive tackles, uh, again, basically close that gap. They have to close that gap. Do not fall for any tricks. That is my biggest, biggest, biggest thing that I'm looking at right now is that Reed Custer defensive line against that dominant Lyle offensive line. It's going to be a doozy this Friday night. It's going to be a huge battle. Now, we get back to Lyle. And one of the big key things, too, uh, with Reed Custer, again, their DBs, the uh, Reed Custer DBs, cannot give up. Uh, cannot give up any, any of those trick plays especially those trick passes, and for that Lyle defense, limiting mistakes and on the secondary of that Lyle secondary too, limiting, giving up those big passing plays to Reed Custer. Reed Custer can take chunks out of your defense. That is going to be huge. And I do believe that Reed Custer is going to be passing more against uh, this Lyle team that I had. I think, I think that, that could be a very... Uh, very dangerous against that Lyle defense. Um, <clears throat> and we talk about it too. Um, the main thing, we talk about recusted. They got their first two wins right now. They're looking to get their third win. Focus on, focus on the small things. If you focus on the small things, don't think about the big things. Again, that happens to a lot of teams, especially when, they are having a, when they're hot and they haven't won anything in, in years to come. It's going to be huge for Reed Custer. Also, one of the things, too, that I talked about, too, is for those linebackers, those Reed Custer linebackers, again, staying with your assignments, reading your keys against that Lyle offense, it's going to be huge. It really is going to be huge. Um, one other thing, too, make mention, especially with um, the special teams, going on, to, uh, going on to the special teams, if... I'm Lyle, and I talked about it earlier in this video, about tackling and the tackling technique. If I'm Lyle, if I choose to kick to Kassim, I'm still, again, the big thing is tackle, tackle, tackle. If you do not, and you give him one second, two seconds 
of clear daylight, he will take it for a touchdown. He is that serious of an athlete for Reed Custer, that serious of a playmaker. McPherson on Reed Custer, he's going to be huge. Um, I'm forgetting that defensive tackle, uh, nose guard for uh, Reed Custer, I'm forgetting his name. He's going to be huge too. For Lyle, I think, <clears throat> for Lyle, I see those group of dynamic running backs is another key, but I also see for Lyle too, their defensive backs are going to be have to have a huge game against that Reed Custer offense. I think that's going to be another thing as well that I'm looking at too. Um, so that is about it. Uh, tomorrow will be Coach Big Pete's final thoughts for the game. I'll talk more about this game on Deep Dish Football Live and uh, with my co-host Patrick Coro on Thursday night. We're going to be talking about this game, uh, DuPage versus uh, to add on the DuPage County Run and Shoot Show. We will be talking more about this Reed Custer and Lyle game too, because it is the first game in DuPage County, not in DuPage County, it's at Reed Custer, but Reed Custer is playing a DuPage team, so it should be a lot of fun. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep the Show on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And just a quick reminder again, this month, September, is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. If you like my work, if you don't like my work, feel free to please leave a tip to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. They do a wonderful job. This was sort of a quick video, uh, not that many <laughs> points going into going more in depth, but this was just had to be a quick video, uh, but I'll go more into it uh, next week. Not next week, tomorrow. So that is it, and have a lovely day, guys, everyone.